Hey, good morning. Good morning from Seattle. Let's see if I can sign in so I can talk to y'all. Let's see. Nice. Okay. So I'm pretty much done with that cat journal, but I have a few things left to do. Thank you, my love. Can I have a Work. something? Work. Something? <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm so inspired today to hurry up and come in here. I haven't even had breakfast or anything yet because yesterday was Friday and we do this Friday Night Live in, our gr in my group, right? So, um, I was at the doctor and I was waiting for the nurse to call me and she said she was going to call me and she never called me. I waited all night long. Thank you, my love. Mm -hmm. And she never called me, of course. So, I didn't get to do... Friday Night Live, but I have everything all set up, so it looks erect, but it's actually not, I'll show you, all right, so scraps are one of my favorite things, I love it when I get done with a couple of journals, and then I got all this stuff laying here, and I just go to town and just make with whatever I have sitting here, no why, so it's kind of fun, so today I have several things I'm going to do. Several kinds of tags I'm going to make with scraps. So, but I am going to go live in my group too later. Since I missed Friday Night Live last night. I'll have to do a Friday Night Live on Saturday morning. Be kind of funny. Okay. So, so I'm just going to show y'all what I've been doing. So, the first thing I do is I save all my Tim Holtz stuff. It saves me on the cardstock, you know. And morning, Carol. Oh, hi, Candy. So, anyways, I saved these. So, you know, I got a little box over here that I have a million of the Tim Holtz things in. And so, I do a lot of just covering of these. And then, so that's what, oh, shoot. That's what I did last night. Shoot. So, I'm just going through magazines and putting magazines over the tops and then brown paper because that's what I had sitting here on the backs. This one's pretty cool. It's coffee stained. So I got to sew around all these and ink them all up, right? So we'll do that. But right now I have all these. So I'm doing kind of the same thing. Um, I have all the scrap paper. This is just coffee stained cardstock and then it's just my scrap paper that I had sitting here and then I stamped my little spoon on there and then I used a guest check that was sitting here and just ripped it but see usually I do it all in real time but like I said yesterday I was trying to set up for my <laughs> was trying to set up for my Friday Night Live that never got to be shoot now I dropped all this. I'm having a heck of a deal right now. I'm trying to get my camera set up a little better so it's because it's too far back, too far. My little nose isn't. There we go. I guess. Sorry, I know that's annoying. But I'm trying to get it to where. Sorry, I know that's terrible, but I haven't been in here for so long. Oh man. Sean, I dropped tomatoes in here now and I rolled over one. <laughs> Will you help me? Well, he probably didn't hear me. He's probably outside. Oh, I got napkins right here. He brought in cherry tomatoes with my watermelon and my stuff and I dropped it. Okay. There. So all this scrap stuff is what I got sitting here. So this is just what I'm going to do. And then I had these little scraps sitting here forever, you know, so I'm just putting together little, little pieces that I got sitting here that kind of go together. So my scrap reminded me of 
you know, food or kitchen or something. So I put the spoon on there for background. Hi, Joy. Morning, Linda. Well, I'm having fruit because I haven't eaten yet. I got up and jumped out of bed because I was ready for Friday Night Live last night. I was all ready. I was just telling them. I was ready for Friday Night Live and then I was waiting for the dang nurse to call and she never freaking called. So I sat there the whole time waiting for a phone call. Cold pizza. Ooh, that's good. So we're just doing scraps now because I'm done, almost done with that cat book. I got some, I'm going to, I'm going to make some tags here for it real quick, but um, I'm pretty much done with that right now. And I'm going to tuck these tickets and this thing back here, and then I'm going to put this cup on here. And it's got the little spoon on there, right? So we're just going to do that for a cute little, a cute little kitcheny thing. Because I don't know, that paper just reminds me of a picnic or something. But I got the wax out too, because I don't know if I'm going to wax some of these or what I'm going to do. But, because I don't really have the toppings. See, I just have the base now. You know. I don't really have any toppings or ribbons or nothing yet to go on top. I just want to get these glued on. And then I'll put my little thing here. And then I'll figure out if I'm going to put some ribbon there. Or what I'm going to do. Or what else I can tuck in here. Because it's like a foodie thing. Right? So that's kind of cute. And then I got another one right here. This is the other one I'm going to do. I got a few of these. You know, I had scrap of this paper. So this one, I'm going to put the guest check right here. And tuck the stuff underneath. And then I'll put my die cuts down here. And I'll put my little tickets in. Now these die cuts. We um. If you don't have any. We do a thing with our members. For our members. That come in a group. We have a. Dynamic die cutter team. That sends out die cuts to members every month. Linda runs that for us. Thank goodness. So that's really sweet for those of us who don't have the die cut stuff. I just don't have anywhere to put all this stuff. Now Michelle Hornet got me a little, um, she got me a little one. A little Sissix, you know, a big shot or whatever it is, but a mini so, it's sitting here, but I just haven't taken it out. I just haven't taken it out. I think for one little thing, it's just I'm getting to the point where I don't have any more storage. So, it's like, I don't know what to do. So, anyways, the point being is, it's really nice to have people sending you die cuts once in a while, you know. It's really nice. So, you don't have to do anything for that. You just come in and be a member. And then participate and then we get to noticing you you know whatever and then somebody will pick you we don't tell them who to send to they pick who they want so there's no bias that way and we just tell them to pick somebody that's actively you know participating in group that's all we tell them and then uh, they do their send outs so it's kind of fun and very much appreciated because I would never have these if it wasn't for them girls sending them to me. So that's kind of fun. There. So now I just got a little tucky spot up there and I put my stamp on. And now I'm going to glue these. But I think I'm going to glue it. I'm just going to glue the two sides so I can stick my tickets down right there. So... I'm going to glue the bottom. Yeah, I love that. Me too, Joy. We do a lot of send outs. We do birthday and anniversaries too. Because I just... 
I just feel like it's important to acknowledge as much as you can and validate, you know, that you're part of the community, so. So that's fun. So I'm just going to do this and then we can stick. There. Stick this down right here. Now I know these don't look like scraps, but it really is. But we're going to do some more here in a minute. Like I said, usually I do it in real time, but I was trying to set up for Friday Night Live and have some of it all done so I didn't have to dig through the pile. A lot of my videos are just digging for stuff, looking for things. You know, I hate that. So then I can either stick it here, see, or whatever I'm going to do right here. Or both. I can put my little tickets right here and then put something else, you know. So that's cute. I like these. And then I have this. These are the ones I was thinking I might wax. We'll see. Pardon me, but I'm eating watermelon too because we haven't had breakfast yet. And I was dying to come in here. Dying. Okay, so what I did was... This is an old thing. <laughs> it's just an old piece of a book cover. See? It's all messed up. But I love the old paper and the old stuff about it. So I left it. I cut it in half. And then I sewed around with white thread. And then I just like the old paper. I just left it. So... So I'm gonna kind of make this a travel kind of a weird uh, kind of a theme, and then should I bring this in closer so you guys can see better, or should I just leave it? You tell me. I'm a smudge high. I know. Me too. That's what I thought too. Hi, Betsy. All right, I'll pull it down so you guys can see better because I know it's annoying if I don't. But my table is so dirty. Here, I'll try it. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. How about this? Is that better? I think that's a little better, at least. Mm-hmm. All right, so I know it's going to be travel. Is that better? So I got out my two little travel stamps, and I stamped it. So there's something on the background that goes with what I'm doing, for those of you who are new. Hi, Eva. Hi, Betsy. We're doing ta scrap tags today. Because I'm almost done with that cat book. I got a couple of tags I got to make today. I glue my stickers down because they never stay. Especially these phrases, the words. So I always ink the edge of mine and then I glue the back. <laughs> Says she wanted no reminder of realities and responsibilities. And then I got the travel stuff there. And then I got this little piece of cheesecloth I was going to put down right here. These kind, the scrap kind, I use a lot of cheesecloth just because it's like, what else am I going to use? <laughs> so, you know, I have every color, every color cheesecloth. I'm trying to get this glue to work better, but it's just not happening. I need something. I'm looking for a pokey thing, but I ain't finding it. Man, I'm having issues right now, I'm telling you. Well, the thing of it is, is I got my nails done and I can't. They're so long that I can't pick up anything now. <laughs> so. So everything I'm doing is taking me twice as long. 
I don't usually do my nails all summer because I'm in the garden. But my daughter came and I haven't seen her in a year, so we went to go get. What you doing, Dad? Oh, are you? Okay. Okay. Okay, honey. Okay. Sean's coffee staining stuff today because I need. I need to get some. My envelopes are almost sold out. My sewn. My distressed envelopes. I only got one order left, so I got to get some of those done. And he's like, "Well, I might as well do some paper at the same time." I was like, "Okay." So we started yesterday, but. He got to watching the baseball game and didn't finish. Ooh, tie-dye would be fun. Okay. And then here's the picture of the lady that I'm going to use. She's like putting her hat on. She's getting ready to go. Right? She's leaving somewhere. She's going on a trip. This glue, I'm having a heck of a deal. Maybe I need a new... A new jug. It's just annoying. I'm at the end, you know, kind of. So it's always... Annoying. At the end. Alright. Okay, so we'll put her... Right here. She's going to go on some kind of trip somewhere. And then I got a little map envelope and a little postage. Oh, I better put her up higher. I'm not going to be able to see nothing. And these little envelopes I'm putting right here. These are cute. I got maps in the shop if you need them. I think they're only like two bucks or something. But don't be trying to go in there and order a map for two bucks. And get me to send it out because I ain't going to do it. <laughs> oh, I learned my lesson. No hate. <laughs> oh, good, Betsy. Me too. I like it. Otherwise, I coffee stain it. Too, you know, or tea stain it or whatever. No, I got a $10 shop minimum. That's why I was saying that. It was so funny. Some people get so mad at me. <laughs> like, I'm not spending all day long doing these little tiny $2 orders. Come on with it. I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm too busy. And plus, then it costs you money, too. Can't be doing that. It costs me money to send it out then. I'm like, forget it. This one opens. I guess I could leave that. And this one's open. I like to put like tags in there. You know what I'm saying? Little ones. Yeah. But this would be a good one to wax. You know, like right here. That's all I was thinking. I, I brought the wax out in case we wanted to wax. But... Maybe with the envelope, I really care. But that's cute, right? And then I'm going to put a little tag right here. If I can find one. I don't know if I'm going to make it or if I'm going to just slip something in there. Oh, here's a shipment tag. That'd be perfect. Dang. A little bit too big. But I bet you I could find one, you know, in my Tim Holtz stuff or something. Some kind of little shipment tag, you know, since it's for, um, you know, travel. Here's a piece of stamps. Well, I put some wax. Well, it's not that kind of wax. I did put wax in the shop, but it's for the wax seals. So I do have that. That's kind of fun. Oh, look, here's a little, 
This might be cute. It's got a letter and a pen and a little thing like to put inside here. It'll fit. Look, I betcha. Oh, that's cute. Yay, it works. It's just a little fountain pen and a letter and like the ink. That's cute. Let's do it. Should I put something on the end so you can grab it out easy? Because look, otherwise you can't. What should I do, huh? Put a little tabby on it. Put a little tabby. Let's see what kind of tabby we got. I guess I can just use anything. It doesn't really need to... Right here? Or should I poke a hole? I could poke a hole. Staple a scrap. I'll be danged. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love to staple stuff on. I always do. <laughs> this one I stapled on my tickets and look at I just bent my tickets in half and then I just stapled it right on there. Isn't that cute? I like it. <laughs> okay, so let's just take uh, what do I want though? That's the thing. Let's see. I could use uh, well, I was trying to get something travel-y, but maybe not. Hey! Here's one of my mommy's teeny weeny little tags and it's a map! Oh my god! How good is that? Can you even stand that I found that? <laughs> my mom made this like, I don't even know how many years ago when she first started. Look at this little teeny little tag she made. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> and it's a map. How lucky am I? That is sick. So I'll just stick it right here on the end. Like that. Doesn't really go with the paper, but whatever. It goes with the envelope, so. <laughs> and we'll just do it. We'll just do it like this. And we'll put it right inside. Oh, isn't that cute? I like it. How cute! And this one, you can write notes. And on the back, it's just plain. But I was thinking I could put a hole, you know, or run some ribbon here or something, right? But I'm not doing toppings yet. I'm only just doing, I didn't do no toppings on these ones either. I just glued the stuff down. But, okay, so there's that one. So that one's cute. I like it. Okay, so the next one I did setting up yesterday. <laughs> Look at this one. I screwed it up and put it at the bottom because I ain't trying to deal with it. Look what I did. I got that all done. I found my paper and put my stuff on the back. Sewed it all around. Then I go to stamp and I did it upside down. <laughs> Dang it! Right, so then I did it right side up, and I thought, oh, well, maybe I could, like, make it look like I did it on purpose. <laughs> or not. Or I could put this here. Cover it up, and it looks like just a little frame. <laughs> so I haven't decided what to do with this one. It makes me so mad. Because I was going to have three, you know, a different Bon Appetit kind of. Makes me so mad. Otherwise, I could just cut it and have this little square, I guess. I don't know. So that one's sitting here being annoying. It's being real annoying. Okay, the next one I got is the same. The same part of that old cover. It's all messed up. And I put flowers on and little lamb because it matches my picture I'm going to use. So that's cute. And like I said, it's just a piece of an old book. So I just left it. And I'm putting my cheesecloth down because like I say, with these scraps, I use a lot of cheesecloth. Because I don't know what else to do. It's perfect, the cheesecloth. <laughs> it's perfect for what I need because I want a little bit of blue because she's got a blue dress on 
So I use my little bit of blue right here. Which I love. Yep, I'm here, Connie. Connie's messaging me. She's the one. She's the one that ordered my cat book. So then I'm going to put the little lamb here. I inked it all up and stuff. There. And then I'll put her down. Little lamb. I stamped that down here with my little... I got one of these from Stampin' Up! years ago. Right? And I just... <laughs> push on here whatever I want, you know. You just move it. However you want to move it. Whoops. Whoops. Shoot. Oh, darn it. I gotta get back on YouTube so I can see y'all. There we go. <laughs> okay, now I got this yellow seam binding that's in my shop. So I'm going to put that down the side. See, this one I could wax. And she's got dandelion. See, that's why I put the dandelion back there. This one I could wax. I think it would just look good, but it's already grungy enough, I guess. But This is Forsythia, seam binding color. I have yellow or Forsythia for this. Persithia is a little darker than just the plain yellow. There. And you can click the 4 for 4 option in the shop. And then you pick the four colors you want. You just message them to me. It's a hard listing to have, I'm telling you. Oh, I'm way behind in my lag now. There, you can see this is pretty cute. I love it little lamb, but I think I could wax it, but I could just leave it too. I don't know. It's got plenty of schmutz on it. <laughs> plenty of schmutz. Look, that's just natural stuff too. I didn't do none of that. So that one's cute. I love it. Then I got this one. I think I'm going to go live in my group after this and do my cat tags. I got some couple cat tags I gotta make. This one's gonna be cute too. I got a little boy here. And he's got a basket of flowers. I'm gonna put a little sack behind him though. He's cute. A couple more toppings on this one. Okay, so let's just put this little flower down. This is also a Dynamic die cutter gift. That's so nice. And I just inked it up and stuff and just put it over here. Inked it up and put some script stamping on it. And then we'll put down the blue. I got baby blue cheesecloth here. Baby blue. You just leave it hang off the edge a little bit here. And... Okay. Here's a little sack you can get in my shop. You can either get distressed or plain and distress them yourself. These are the minis. The mini size. I coffee stained it and script stamped it. And now I'm going to glue my little boy on there. My little boy blue. He's got a blue shirt on.
there. And we'll just put him on there because he's cute. He's got a little basket of flowers. Could be a girl, maybe. I don't know, but it's blue, so I figured it was a boy, but who knows. Cute little kid anyways. And that's going to go on here. And this blue is going to go here. Oh, I love this blue seam binding from my shop. There's, I have a really good blue section, so... This is tile blue, which I love. It's crinkled up and you put ink on it. And it looks really good. So don't be afraid. I get a lot of girls that s message me colors on seam binding and they say, well, I just want neutrals. I don't want any color. But they forget that you crinkle it up and you stain it and... Then you don't have to be afraid of color, and I tell them that, and then they're glad. They're like, oh, yeah. Some of them, some of them obviously want neutral, but I'm just saying, don't be scared of getting some of that color, because there's a lot of crazy color in there, but, man, sometimes when you darken it up, and whew, it looks so good. <laughs> I have that strawberry glaze. If you haven't gotten that yet, oh, my gosh. The strawberry glaze is so pretty, but when you first get it, it's like, oh my god, I'm never going to use this. What the heck did I order? And then, when you get some ink on it and you get just the right, you know what I'm saying? You need just the right thing, <laughs> you know? Well, I, I don't usually like to put things straight, but... I'm a little... A little crooked anyways. And then I got a little blue envelope with some green on it. And some little, a little bit of blue lace here we can throw on. So that'll be cute. And again, it's open so you can put something in the side. I think that's so cute. I don't always do it, but a lot of times I do. It's kind of fun. And then there's a little bag so we can put something in there too. If you want. So this is cute. I love it. And I found this little piece of blue lace, so I'm going to use that too. Yeah, cute. Cute, cute. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Jeez, oh, peach. I got too much sitting here. Got my banana here. <laughs> And I got my watermelon here. Oh. Then he brought me some tomatoes. But they fell. Cherry tomatoes. And then I rolled over one with my chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of mess I got going on right now. Cute. Right? Okay, last one. Last one that's pre-done, anyway. Because I got to make the cats now. So, I just wanted to get some of these done and then wax them, maybe. But anyway, this one's pretty because she's got pink and blue in her hat. So, I mean pink and green, so that's what I did here. Pink and green, and she's got blue too. So, I'm just using one of my flowers from my shop. I have tons and tons of different kinds of flowers if you need some. So many different kinds now, my goodness. It's so fun. I'm a flower fanatic. I love appliques and flowers, so. So, obviously, when you go look at my shop, it's like... Appliques, flowers, appliques, flowers. I got every kind of applique and flower you could ever want. Oh, and I'll probably get more too because <laughs> cause there's still a couple kinds I want that I don't have that I use. I like to put in the store the stuff that I use all the time. That way my videos are always, you know, up to date. So I can't wait. To get the stuff I have on order. Finally. Hey, it takes years to get all this stuff. 
figured out, you know, years and years. Especially when you're new, it's like, oh my God, you want everything and you can't, of course. So it takes a while to build it all up, even your store, you know. Unless you got lots of buying power. Which I do not. <laughs> I mean, I have some, but... I really want, like, a couple thousand bucks now just to order a bunch of stuff. Because I got my... I got approved for... To sell Tim Holtz stuff. So I'm excited. So I got the glaze. Well, it's not Tim Holtz, but I got the glazes coming because I use them all the time. All the glaze that I always use. And I got the stencils coming and I got ink refills coming. So yay. Cute. I love this. Okay, and she's going right here somewhere. And I'm about ready to do another pack of envelopes too. So we can show you how to use the glaze when I... Of course, I got lots of videos on it, but it's my favorite. It's my favorite thing to do. This one, I didn't stamp anything. That was dumb. Oh, well. I guess I didn't know what to stamp. Right? And then I'll have to um, you know, put my fluff at the top or whatever it is I'm going to do. This one needs some envelopes or something on it. Needs something on here, don't it? Some kind of toppings. But still, I'm not going to put toppings on because I'm going to wait so I know what page is going to go on, you know. This will be good enough because I could put a word here or something, you know. Something I need like that. So those are pretty. I love it. These are cute. So now we can put on all the toppings when I see I like to wait and like I said see what page I'm gonna put it on and then I then I do my toppings so now I got to do the cats these are nice I like them okay What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to shut down, girls. I'm going to go in group now because I want to do a Friday Night Live. <laughs> a Friday Night Live on Saturday. But we did a bunch of tags. Yeah, we got more scraps. I'm going to be doing scraps all week, of course. So, we'll shut it down right now and then we'll... Yeah, <laughs> And then I'll go pee, and then I'll go in group and finish up these cat tags in group. Okay? Hey, thanks for coming and visiting me this morning and for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that a lot, you guys. Thanks, Joy. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye.